Here is a workflow of modeling an interior scene in Revit and Inkscape. If you want to learn more tips and tricks about Inkscape, you can check out the Inkscape tutorials link in the description. Now let's get started. So first we will create a 15 by 15 foot room. Next I will create a floor, ceiling and curtain wall. Here I am changing the mullion type and reducing the space between vertical mullions. Let's create a 10 foot curtain wall. And change the height of it. Now I am going to work on this wall design. First I will create 2 inch wall. And leave a 4 foot gap between them. Then we'll create a 1 inch panel using the wall again. This should be 3 feet. Now I'm going to create a section here to be able to see the 1 inch wall that we just created. I just noticed that we need to change the height of this curtain wall. Anyway, let's edit this wall profile and I will create three arches here. Let's split and trim this line. And it's looking something like this. Let's edit this one. Instead of creating the arch again, I will use pick lines and pick these lines and move this arch to the other side. Let's place this at an accurate distance from this side and change the width of this arch. Let's split and trim this line. Then we will copy this arch again and repeat the same process. I am going to increase the height of this arch a little bit. Then mirror this one. Make sure copy is checked here. So our wall panel decoration is ready. 
now let's make some metal decorative item on this wall for that i will be using sweep first we will create a new section on this side because we need this side view when we are creating sweep later on now i will just return to this view and create an in place component let's select sweep then sketch path set the work plane to the face of this wall and then we will create a circle in the center of this arch to snap the center point of this arch we need to press sc on the keyboard then hover over the arch and as you can see the center of this arch is now highlighted you just need to click there we go now we can click finish once then go to the other section view to create a profile So I've created this profile. Let's click finish and there we go. Now to create the LED light, we are going to use extrusion. I will quickly assign material parameter to both of these. Now before copying this I am going to dissociate them by clicking edit work plane then dissociate. This will help us move these objects freely. So our model is now ready. Let's work on the materials. First I will create new materials for each of these objects in Revit so that we can edit them uh, in the Enscape material editor. Once we have done creating the materials in Revit, we can go ahead and start the Enscape. So before editing the materials in Enscape, it's better to set up the camera view. Let's rename this default preset and set up the camera view. And we are ready to work on the materials in the Enscape Material Editor. For the floor, I will be using a wood material from Enscape Library. And for the walls I will use a custom texture that I downloaded from the internet and I'm going to use the same material for the ceiling as well. Hey 
and for the LED light we can just change the material type to self illuminated and I will be using the same metallic material for these mullions that we just created for the decorative items perfect we have finished with the materials now I'm going to add lights first I will create a black strip on the ceiling I will fast forward this part because I have a separate video tutorial explaining how to create black strip lights in Revit you can refer to that video the link is in the description Here I just noticed that I forgot to apply marble material to this wall. Let's quickly do that by using the paint tool then editing it in the Enscape material editor. For the hidden wall light I will be using LED linear light family. You can download this family for free from my website. You will find the link for that also in the description. Let's place this on the walls. Here I am aligning them to the face of this wall. then I will go to this section view and change the height of these lights So I have finished adding the lights and now we can add assets to the scene. I will be using a custom asset from the Enscape and some other assets from the Blocks plugin.
so i have added the assets as well now i think we are ready for the inkscape render settings for this scene i will be using an hdri that i downloaded from polyhaven.com we need to keep this checked to use the lighting from the hdri and i'm just playing around with the rotation until i get the desired results seems perfect now let's adjust the brightness in the main tab i am going to add some outlines and increase the exposure in the image tab we want to reduce highlights and shadows a little bit and increase saturation and color temperature and let's remove all these effects except bloom in the atmosphere tab we will remove fog increase the sun brightness and artificial light brightness a little bit and that's it these are the changes i usually make for my interior renderings now let's export the rendering but before that let me increase the rendering quality to ultra the resolution to ultra hd and the file format to jpeg and i will press ctrl plus one on the keyboard which is the shortcut key i set to export the rendering and that's how to create an interior scene in revit and inkscape so that's it for this video i hope you have learned something new so please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already don't forget to turn on the post notifications and i will see you in the next video